Getting a proper diagnosis is very challenging, and it's not uncommon that it takes years for someone to actually get the diagnosis. There are several factors. First of all, PSP often initially looks like straightforward Parkinson's disease, and that's probably the most typical first diagnosis. But as time goes on and a person doesn't respond to Parkinson's medication, and they continue to become debilitated by the symptoms, other diseases are considered. Most people are referred to a neurologist when their symptoms don't improve. And it's often that neurologist who actually questions the diagnosis and decides that it might be something more rare like PSP.